Good afternoon, I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. The management of the Paranaque Integrated Terminal Exchange, or PTEX, says passenger volume is expected to exceed pre-pandemic levels during the holidays. That's an estimated 80,000 commuters per day. And because of this, PTEX management admits implementing strict protocols remains a challenge, as Filipinos tend to forget to comply with rules. Despite this, the health department praised PTEX for exhibiting best health and safety practices during the department's inspection earlier today. However, Health Secretary Francisco Duque III says the transport sector in general can still scale up their measures to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Transport Chief Artugade, on the other hand, insists that health measures are tight as transport marshals have been deployed to ensure the compliance of passengers. Health Secretary Francisco Duque says he is willing to be among the first to be vaccinated once COVID-19 vaccines become available in the country. Duque also urged his fellow members at the interagency task force to do the same. Although the health chief explained that he'll volunteer only if the FDA undertakes proper evaluation of the vaccines and if the government approves the vaccine candidates. He added that coronavirus vaccines may come in as early as March 2021 for some time in the second quarter of next year. Likewise, Vice President Lenny Robredo says she's also willing to be one of the first to get a COVID shot in the Philippines. Robredo says it's okay for her to get vaccinated to help allay Filipinos' fears on safety. The Vice President also explained that she did almost the same thing back in 2014 when she was the first to drink water from the filtration system that they distributed to communities in Camarines Sur. Although Robredo stressed that the government must still prioritize inoculating healthcare workers once a vaccine becomes available. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in depth analysis. And you can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.